video guys i'll show you how to run a script onto your computer that can grow your karma on reddit so if you don't know what karma is karma is just like points on reddit that can help you uh, help your account get more interaction into your posts so for example if you have more karma into your reddit account you can get a lot of more people into your posts on any subreddit so as you can see this is my account on reddit and i have 132,738 karmas and this account is just about one years old and i have before i had just 100 karma on this account and i use this bot to get a lot of karmas automatically without doing anything i'm not doing anything myself so as you can see here on my account if I go to posts I use this to get more views on my YouTube channel as you can see how I get a lot of upvotes using this account for any of my uh, posts that I do here you can do the same you can grow your reddit account and you can use to to do affiliates to get more upvotes to post your YouTube videos to get more views and do anything you want so in this video I'll show you how to run this script it's a Python script as always this is what I do the best and the best thing here is that I'll show you how to run this script into a server for absolutely for free is the server called Heroku you don't have to leave your computer on and this script will, will run 24 7 in that server so uh, what, are, what are you gonna do here we just go to the brief apps into reddit and we'll get some API keys put the API keys into this bot and then put it on the server and run it 24 7 and the way this bot works is that this bot comments in a subreddit called free karma for you it comments on different posts on this subreddit and then people are going to go and upvote your comments and in this way you can get some karma from upvotes okay guys let's start without talking more let's start with this video and without losing any more time so the first thing you have to do is just to go to the description of this video you're gonna find this the link for this repository on my github and what you have to do is just to click on code and download zip as always then we have the downloaded just go to the finder to or actually here I am in a MacBook computer but this is going to work the same because we will run this on a server and not locally in our computer then I go to downloads and I'll move this onto my desktop because I do this all the ways and is easier and here on desktop I have reddit karma bot master .zip. just double click to extract it and then here I have the folder with all the files I have here so now we need a text editor or code editor I prefer to use VS Code. You can download or anything you want. You can download VS Code from Google. Just search for VS Code download and you can download it as I have it here, but I have already installed it and I'm gonna use it right now. I just open a VS Code and I'll open the folder of the bot on the VS Code right now. So just go to file and open folder. I'll go to desktop and here is my bot. So click on open and here I have all the files and everything I need. So the first thing first you have to do is just to go to uh, prow.ini. This is the main file you have to use and here we'll put the our credentials, the client ID. Let me make this a little larger. So here is the client ID, this client secret, password and username. Let's go to browser, go to your Reddit and actually you have to search on Google Reddit, Reddit brief apps. Just search for this and click on the first link you see. And this is the developer place that you can use and you can create apps if you are a developer. What you have to do is to click on this. Are you a developer? Create an app. So just click create an app and here type a name you want. I'll type just the bot and then here you have to choose script make sure to choose script and you can put a description if you want or anything you want and here on an about url just put an example.com or anything you want it doesn't matter at all so then click click on create app this app will be created and here is the app so the first the first thing is to copy this code here this is a client id just copy this and go back to vs code and paste the client id on this on this field paste it here then in the client secret, the client secret is this one here. This is the secret, copy it, go back and paste it again. Make sure to, to don't leave any space or anything. And then the password, this is the place you put their password. I'll put my password here and my username. So let's put my username account. So user, username is uh, this one here. This is my username of the account. So just copy this and I'll put username here. And also I'll put my password on this field. So I'll uh, put the password, pause the video and get back to you. But make sure to save this file. Just click on 
save after putting your password and uh, then close it out. Okay guys, I put my password, I saved the file and now I'm good to go. So make sure to have everything here, every file and everything else and you don't need to do anything else on this uh, bot. What you can do here, you can also run this script onto your local machine. So to run it on your locally, uh, I'll show you right now, just go to terminal, click on new terminal. And here, uh, what you have to do is first, you have to install requirements. So just type pip, Th uh, three, but first make sure to have Python installed. If you don't have it, just go to Google search for Python download and download and install it installed into your computer. But if you are on Windows, just type pip. If you are on Mac, just type pip three install dash r requirements txt. Then this will install all the requirements we need. Okay, guys, the requirements are installed now. And to run the bot or the script, what you have to do is to type python3 main.py and here on this way you can test it out if this is actually working okay guys as you can see the bot is running and you can see these numbers so these numbers means are the seconds and the bot is going to comment on different paths on this subreddit for every 80 seconds. So after 80 seconds, it will uh, pass another comment and after that, another comment. And I can show you proof of this if I go to my account and here on the comments, I can refresh. And as you can see here, I just put a comment uh, just now and I put one two minutes ago, about four minutes ago. So it's going to comment about every two minutes. And this is a perfect time delay because uh, if you do it faster, you'll be banned from Reddit. And I've tested this time and this works perfect. I have been running this 24 seven into my account and is not banning my account. So this is a perfect time that I can leave. This is how you can run the bot into your local computer. You can continue like this if you want. As you can see, it posted another comment, but you can also also watch this video till the end and show you that you can also run in a server called Heroku for absolutely free without leaving your computer turned on. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna pause this bot by pressing Ctrl and C. Then I'll go to browser and I have to download Heroku CLI. So just go ahead and to the uh, description, you can find the links, but I'll search it right now. Download Heroku and this is a Heroku CLI, uh, then you can just go ahead and download for your operating system. If you are on Windows, just uh, click on the uh, installer here, but if you are on Mac, just run this command with brew into your terminal. I have already installed it, so I, I will not install it again. So what I have to do now is just to go to Google again and search for Heroku.com. This is the website or the place where we'll put our bot and run it for 24 seven. Here you have to create a new account, click on sign up, but I have already an account. So I'll just uh, go ahead and log in. So click on login and I'll put my verification number. Okay guys, now I am logged in. As you can see, I have only one app that is running here. What I have to do is just to click on new click on new button, create a new app, and then choose a name. I'll choose just my Reddit bot, but this is not available. So I have just, I'm just adding some numbers, some random numbers. It doesn't matter at all. Or maybe I just make it shorter, one, two, five. This is good. You can choose your server. If you are on Europe, just choose Europe, then choose United States, and then click on create app. This will create the app. And now we have to deploy. These are the steps that you can deploy your app. And what you have to do is just to log in first. So just copy this command and go to terminal or command line if you are on Windows, I have terminal, then uh, I'll uh, first I have to move inside my, my the bot. Uh, if you remember, I put the bot in a desktop. So I just move to desktop. So with CD, let me make this larger. So CD desktop, then here I have the bot ready to karma bot master. So I'll go inside that. And here we are inside the bots. We have everything we need. So now we have to log in. So just paste the command. We copied Kiroku login, then press enter, and then press any key into your keyboard. And this will redirect you to the browser and click on login. Then what you have to do is just to go back to the uh, terminal. And as you can see, we are logging with this account. So now uh, what you have to do is go back to the website again. And here is I am in my project and I have already moved to my project. So I don't need to move again. And what I have to do is just to copy this command, get in it and then get remote add this uh, app, go back to terminal, I will type first get in it, then I'll uh, put the command 
to to this command tells the Heroku which app or which uh, place we want to put our code. So just press enter and this and then we set this to be the this app then I'll add all and then I commit and push them to the master. So just go back to terminal and git add all enter git commit dash m with a message and I'll just type initial commit you can type any message you want then will this will commit every code every file then we have just to push so git push Heroku master and this will push the code into our uh, Heroku master it will install dependencies and everything we have in our requirements so as you can see it is installing Python it's installing every requirements we have in the file then it's compressing it and put it in the code okay now the code is pushed into the repository or the app that we created in Heroku and if I go to Heroku here as you can see we have reddit bot 125 and if I click on it here and you have to go then to resources and then you'll see this worker python3 main.py and what you have to do here is just to turn this on and as soon as you do this this is going to turn on the bot into the server so click on this uh, edit icon turn it on and then confirm as you can see it's zero dollars you don't have to pay for anything then if you click more and if you click on view logs you can see the logs here and as you can see the bot is running on the server and we are not running it onto my computer locally isn't doing nothing on my computer and as you can see it's running on the server and if I go back to the reddit if I go to my account here on comments and if I refresh as you can see it, it just submitted a comment just now so after 80 seconds it will submit another comment and this is all doing it on the server without running in, into our computer locally this was how you can do that and if you want to stop the bot in server just go back to here in the Heroku and go to resources make sure to go to resources then click on edit again and turn this off and click on confirm but I go again here just to show you and make sure this is working go to the logs I'll wait until it goes 80 seconds and then show you that this is going to comment again okay guys after 80 seconds as you can see it, it did send another reply another comment to a post and now we made sure that this bot is working perfectly another thing that I wanted to say to you is to make sure to don't use a new reddit account to use this bot if you use that a new reddit account this will might might ban your account but make sure to choose an old account it might it should be at least three months old I got this account when it was just one month old I bought it online and you can also buy online is the, uh, the prices are very very cheap you can get almost for free and you can buy uh, I, I think I remember it was like accountsmarket.com from this website you can just go ahead and buy from there if you want this is where I bought this account it had only 100 karma when I bought it and now it has 132,738 karmas onto this and also if you are interested to buy this account I don't, I don't need it anymore if you want to buy this account just let me know uh, text me or uh, email me on ready.dev at hotmail.com uh, in the email put the as a subject just like and I will immediately understand that you are interested to buy my account this was the video for today guys hopefully you like this video make sure to like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you with next videos peace <laughs>